Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can work on drop down or list. First, we need to understand what is the difference between the drop down and list. So, there is a minor difference. In case of drop down, we can select only one value at a time, but in case of list, we can select multiple items. I can give you an example like whenever we are selecting any date of birth and I need to select any month so we can select only one value at a time there we have drop down now for list on many website we need to select our preferred locations like if I'm going for applying a job it asks for preferred location and we can select multiple options so when we are able to select multiple options that is a list so while working on a drop down and list we can select any value by three approaches by index by value and by label so i'm going to get keyword select from list by index select from list by value and select from list by label i'll show you this First of all, I'm just moving to my Facebook page. So here on a Facebook page, I have this drop down. I want to select value from this drop down. We have already covered many element locators that we can use to locate this drop down. I just right click on it, inspect element. Here we are getting ID class name we can use any element locate I'm just using ID so ID is equal to month I'm just moving to my write editor and here I'm just keeping only starting four lines with me and rest of the lines I'm deleting so here we are going to the Facebook page maximizing the browser enter username enter password now i want to select month in the date of birth so we have the keyword select from list by index so first i'm going to show you index and if you check it here it asks for element locator and the index so my element locator is id is equal to month and my index is so index we can find out like index is always started the zero so on zero index we have month one two three four five so if i pass five index it will be may so i'm just selecting fifth index value save this and I'm going to execute so it should select May in month field and here we can see May is selected in the drop down so we have seen first approach in which we can select any value by index second approach is select from the list by value so what do you mean by the value i'm just coming here and i'm going to use i'm just deleting this line and now i'm going to use select and from the list by value again we need to pass element locator so i'm just giving that's my element locator now what is the value so i'm coming to my application and here if you notice that's my drop down i'm expanding it so all the options like here for july we have the value seven so for each of the option that we are getting we can have any value in front of it but it is not mandatory means either developer is going to set this value we can use this if developer is not setting the value we are going to use any other approach so as of now i'm using seven which is July I'm just moving to my framework and I need to select a month 
with the value 7 and that value belongs to July. I'm just running this test case after saving and here we notice it should select July now. Maximizing the browser and here we can see it has selected J U L means July. So that's the second approach we have seen. Now I'm coming to the third approach select from the list or drop down by label. So I'm just coming to my test case. First of all, I'm deleting this line and select from list by label. I'm just passing element locator, which is this. Now, what do you mean by the label? On application, whatever the data we are getting, like here in the list, this is the data. We call it label. So if I want to select September, my label is SEPT. So I'm selecting the value SEPT and that's a case sensitive. We need to enter case sensitive text. I'm just running it. Here it should select September. So maximizing the browser and now we are getting September is selected. So we have seen three approaches by which we can select any value from the list or the drop down. Here we have seen how we can work on a drop down and list. That's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video.